Hello and welcome to the Hobby Breakfast Show. We are back again with the third scenario of Scouring of the Shire, and this time you find us on the edge of Farmer Maggot's farm. And his dogs are out, keeping an eye on the livestock, but Farmer Maggot himself is presumably kicking back in the pub. In the pub, cup of tea or pint. Yeah. He's not on the board yet, however, Little does he know that some rogues, some rascals, some scoundrels, have found their way to the border of his farm. And they're not just hungry for mushrooms, they're hungry for dog? Yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, in this scenario, um, the ruffians are trying to sneak all the way across a four foot wide board. And Farmer Maggot's dogs, they, they're not aware that the ruffians are there, but they're going to be just kind of running around doing dog things. But if they bump into a ruffian, they're going to raise the alarm and Farmer Maggot may appear to defend his farm. So um, quite straightforward, where you can be using the rules of sentries for dogs. Um, and Farmer Maggot will only appear once the dogs have seen them on a five up and he will move on from the left hand board edge. And yeah, that is basically the scenario, isn't yeah. it? Um, because last scenario, um, we saw that uh, the ruffians beat the hobbits to cross over the Bucklebury Bridge, mm. whatever it's called. Yep. And um, therefore, they got to move a cheeky three inches at the beginning of this game. So they're already off to the races. Um, probably not going to make a massive difference. No. But we'll see as things progress. So, OT, how are you uh, planning to win with these uh, ruffian boys running across the board here? Well, my biggest worry was the dogs because they're higher fight and, like, um, it, their six-inch detection range basically covered the entire board. So, like, I was fairly, like, um, I'd, I'd adjusted to the idea of being detected um, and I was just trying to roll with that, basically, and, yeah, do the best I could. And Onod, how was your your confidence at this point? Were you were you feeling fairly confident, or I was supremely confident <laughs> going into this scenario. I thought that this was like a guaranteed Hobbit win. All oh, right, and what's uh, what made you think that the most? What gave you that impression? Because uh, Farmer Maggot's dogs are, are good boys. Yeah, mm -hmm. real good. They're boys. very good boys. Yeah. So we're going to be using rules for centuries here. So basically, you roll a dice. Um, depending on the results, they can either. Um, move as normal, they can move um, specifically a shorter distance and um, depending on who basically gets to move them they may move in a useful direction or a not very useful direction or they may just stand still. So I'm going to roll for Farmer Maggot's dice each so we're going to go for Grip to start with. Grip is just going to stand still, he, he is a, a prime guard dog so He's in a good pose for standing still. Uh, next, we're going to do Wolf. Wolf is going to be moving three inches in my choice of direction. Thank you very much. So um, I'm just going to move him just kind of to there. And then Fang. Fang is also going to move three inches. So he is just going to move this way to try and prevent the far board edge being too easy to sneak off. And there we have it. End of turn one. End of turn one. So yeah, I was feeling pretty good about this. The uh, dogs all had obeyed the kind of orders of being a sentry and had all screened off a good part of the board. And I was, was, I, was, you know, yeah, I, was I was screwed at this point. Like, I had no gaps in the board. I was going against dogs that were higher fight. And like... Yeah, I genuinely didn't know how I was going to win the scenarios, um, the, the scenario, and I was literally at this point just reliant on like maybe I can luckily kill one of the dogs and then just yeet through the gap was essentially my plan. So Fang, Fang is going to be moved by me. So he is again going to move three inches to there. Grip. Unreal. All fours and fives. And wolf. Or a six. Oh, holla holla. 
That's eight inch, eight, eight inch move. Wolf just really fucking finds this goose annoying. So he's mm -hmm. bounded up to have a go at He's barking at this goose. Did I win that? You did. Congratulations. Wolf. Big boy wolf has let me down. Up. Here and do a climb test. Okay. Use your own dice, you cheat. I assume you can't do that to cause them harm. Oh, eh? No. Cool. Um, grip. Oh shit. <laughs> My good rolling has come back to Which bite, one's yeah. he? Uh, I need to try and, I need to try and get, like, create like a gap. <laughs> I think you want them just on one side, right? Yeah, I think that's the way, isn't it? This is the way. Don't let me down, Fang. That's better than better than <laughs> moving in the wrong direction. He is now blocking that side at least. Yeah. So OT, how are you feeling at this point? The the dogs are kind of playing the untitled goose game, and um, <laughs> you're strolling up up the boards, about to meet them. Yeah, I don't know. Like, I think it was this scenario is weird because in all the other scenarios, I was feeling very optimistic before I went in. Like, I think the early scenarios are definitely balanced towards the ruffians. Uh, in this one, it was felt like the first one where it was towards the hobbits um so i wasn't really sure how i was going to win i think at this point i was like actually maybe if i shoot i think it was grip at the top with with my bows i might be able to just sneak through that gap um but like i knew the odds of that were quite short and it would it would be yeah uh, it would be a pretty lucky set of rolls for me to actually yeah get through and and succeed in that plan wolf first Wolf continues <laughs> on his quest he's, he's amongst the cows. <laughs> the cows are alarmed by by this dog by this just dog running in completely the wrong direction. Make sure you shut gates when you're on a country path, folks. It's the countryside code. Yeah, yeah, great. Thanks, thanks for that. Yeah. Grip. He loves it, but only enough to move three inches. inches. So he doesn't love it that much. Yeah, but he is going to cut off the middle of the board for another turn and then everyone's favorite fang oh three inches no uh, not quite not quite he smells something though he's he's he can't see the ruffians quite clearly in front of him um, he is wow well, that was some shit rolling <laughs> that's my speciality yeah. in the yeah. uh, campaign yeah. <laughs> delta team uh, ruffian uh, are about to pounce um and it's at this point as, as the onlooker um i was kind of terrified for the dogs because you can essentially just kill one dog and then if uh on odds rolls continue to be shit you can just <laughs> run along the top i think it was yeah. at this point in the game where we discovered that there there weren't any rules for what happens if a sentry gets shot with a bow <laughs> Yeah. So we were like, yeah. what happens if a, a, you shoot an arrow, it hits the dog but doesn't kill it? Does the dog then It realize? yelps, we, d we decided. So if yeah, we, yeah. we decided that if you shot and killed the dog, um, yeah. then it wouldn't make a noise. But if you shot and uh, didn't, if you hit it and didn't wound the dog, then that would count as alerting him. So these three are going to take a shot at, what dog is it? Fang. Fang. Going to take a shot at Fang. Hitting on sixes. It's one hit. Strength two, D three, yeah. fives. He's dead. <laughs> <laughs> He's gone and they don't notice. <laughs> oh no, the way is open. <laughs> Shit, you might actually do it. Oh, Fucking no. Delta Squad ruffians are going to make a run for it. Like um. ninjas. <laughs> Grip. Okay. Three inches. Grip is going to get shot as well. This really is like a spec, spec ops mission. Go on, roll a Wolf. roll, roll a three. Oh, <laughs> are you just going to move into there? No, I'm going to try get him round this way. Oh, okay. <laughs> get him to run past the full, the full shebang. Poor Wolf. It's just <laughs> not going to be useful at all now. Um, right, my move. I I feel like it is very. Much the luck of the Hobbit so far this campaign that Farmer Maggot's not going to be alerted. 
God. He'll just find where his dogs have been shot. Shit. <laughs> he killed my dogs. dogs. Oh, no. Are you shooting a grab? Yeah. Oh, my One God. hit. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh, fuck. Wow. What a shit show. Fuck's sake. Who would have thought SWAT team... Uh, ruffian would have done that again. Uh, fucking SWAT I mean, team ruffian just come in, fucking shoot two dogs and leave. <laughs> Refuse to elaborate further. Fucking assholes. I mean, oh. at this state, it was a really good question of like, can the hobbits now actually win? Like, genuinely, is it possible? Um, I, I, I think, I think we basically. I, I, I thought he was dead at this point. <laughs> yeah. I think we basically concluded the all outrageous rolling had uh, ruined the scenario. <laughs> yeah. The hobby breakfast show does not condone violence <laughs> against <laughs> animals. <laughs>
I don't think Wolf can see the no, guys no, closing. No. Um, Wolf is going to continue going this way, I think. <laughs> so you form this last guard. <laughs> I just think it prevents you a little bit from running. Mm -hmm. Just the other way to follow my get at least. Yep. God, this is actually going to be quite tense. Mm. Right. Shoot phase. Uh, he's going to shoot at Farm Maggot. Hit on a six. No. Uh, these two are going to shoot at Wolf. No. Oh, shit. Team Dog Killer. Do I charge Farm a Maggot? I always feel like you just stay I think I'm just going to. I think I'm just going to wait. Well, you're just going to. You're just going to kite Farm a Maggot. <laughs> I'm just going to wait. See what he does. I'm just going to wait. No, I know. Duck Sorry. back so that you can't shoot me, and Wolf is just going to duck back so you can't shoot me, and now I'm just going to stand there forever okay. until you move. Basically. Okay, priority. This is going to be fun. You're isn't acting it? very roughy, are you? Well, I, I'm, I don't know. Like, I, I'm scared of small, and a dog. small boy. <laughs> Team dog killer should be more aggressive. <laughs> than this. Okay, Your wolf. priority. What are you going to do? Um, wolf is just going to. Going to kill your fucking dog. Come around to the farm. Maybe it's just going to tuck in there. Ready to pounce out. And okay, fuck. these guys are going <laughs> 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 to. Leave it there. Just leave it there. <laughs> oh no! Don't do this. <laughs> Oh, this is going to be such a lame game. Ah, oh, fucking oh. OT. Why, why are you so unruffy in here? This was, this was lame. Like, I, I knew it was lame at the time, but even, and even in hindsight, it's even worse. Like, yeah, the optics aren't good here for Team Dog Killer. Such a nerd. <laughs> I stand still. <laughs> okay. Team Dog, <laughs> Team Dog Killer are gonna. <laughs> Close the crowd. <laughs> they can smell the dog around the corner. <laughs> How many do you have to get on the board edge? Three. Only three. <laughs> Fuck it, though. Well, three for a draw, four for a win. Uh, Technically, if you win priority now. Yeah, I could just yeet off the board edge. Off, you'll just win. So this was I. This move was not tactically sound, but in response to being called out by the other two players in this situation, and um, yeah, I was I was pressured into not being lame. I was a neutral party. You're always lame, you know. <laughs> Thank you. Got him. We're gonna have to kill it. We're gonna have Fuck to kill it. We're gonna have to kill another dog. <laughs> and we can actually make it into both as well. Well. So this was this was Farmer Maggot just getting ready to avenge, avenge his slain I think, dogs. Really. I think canonically, Farmer Maggot actually shouted Leroy <laughs> at this point. I think that's what happened. He was filled with just so much pain and fury. Like, yeah, yeah. He's got quite the character arc already. <coughs> it was a short character arc, though. Spoilers. <laughs> well, because he's a hobbit. Yeah, nice. There we go. Hey, oh. Leaving that one in. Zing. I mean, Team Dog can shoot into combat. <laughs> that might actually be a legit strat. Well, I think they're going to. I th <laughs> he's doing... Oh my <laughs> god! Right, up or down? Oh, no. ah. Yes. <laughs> he lives to fight another oh. day. Shit. They had one fucking job. Do these two on Maggot. Okay, so Maggot, two handed weapons, so he gets minus one. Yep. He does have two attacks. Yep. We will be equal fight. fight. I don't want to roll first. Okay. I'm at five. So I need six. No, no. you win. Um, he backs up. Now. Strength. 3d3, so wounding on fours. It's two wounds. Guess I'll use both fate then. <laughs> He's on one way. It's four. Right. And can, then team dog can, killer. Can, can we kill another dog? Uh, you are high fight yeah, because high you're fight. not a hobbit. I'm on a five. Oh, shit. No. <laughs> I can't believe that this merciless killing of three dogs. Three dogs and an innocent farmer. Right, fucking John Wick mode engaged. Oh. John Wick mode was not engaged. <laughs> <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake. Maybe like the, 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 the comedy spoof version of John, John Wick. Like the Austin Powers to James Bond. Yeah, I think Team Dog Killer made their point, didn't they? They, they yeah. didn't like dogs. He's gonna, go oh. he's gonna go fucking ballistic. Mic drop.
<laughs> I, don't, I don't think he should be allowed to play the rest of the scenarios. He only rolls sixes. Oh no! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> well, that, that did go the way we expected. Well, that was probably well. outrageous. Farmer Maggot's final words but fuck the police. I think, sure. obviously, uh, the only one six would have been enough, but I think the fact it was trips. It was, <laughs> it was trips, the triple six, 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 wasn't it? It was just like. Against a model with a two handed <laughs> weapon and no might. It was so unnecessary. No, sorry, sorry. <laughs> You're not allowed to win this. Well, there we go. What a game. <laughs> Um, Team Dog Killer <laughs> did their job. <laughs> Just horrific individuals. Um, they shot two Jesus. dogs. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> going into this, we thought we were pretty confident that Farmer Maggot would probably be okay and that his dogs would probably be okay against six ruffians. But um, thanks to just only rolling sixes, it's been pretty brutal. Yeah. So um, this means now that the ruffians are going to get three additional guys in the final scenario of the campaign, the Battle of Bywater. So it's actually. Quite consequential. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it does also mean, though, that uh, Farmer Maggot, as the first Hobbit hero to be taken out, will appear in now the, in, in the, the lock, lock holes scenario, scenario 13. So we will see Farmer Maggot again. He's been taken prisoner. Uh, I think his dogs have been killed, though. <laughs> <laughs> I think they're dead. He, maybe he could get some new dogs. Yeah. It's quite sad otherwise. <laughs> God, it's fucking brutal. Just fucking shot some dogs. Yeah, because the dogs are actually quite good as yeah, well. Yeah, they were higher mm -hmm. fight, but they just got annihilated by both. I think being uh, bound by the sentry rules really kind of... Yeah, wolf, them, wolf's, yeah. wolf's mission was, was yeah, wolf, a bit wolf's, problematic. Wolf's mission there. Um, yeah, so there you go. Thanks for watching. Um, drop us a cheeky subscribe so you don't miss the next scenario. The Old Mill. The old. And we will be back with more scouring very soon.